Yo, 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 purpose. When you have a purpose, you have success. Only when you put action behind that purpose. So when you find out what your purpose is, and you find out how to profit from that purpose, because purpose is basically your gifts. You understand? So, when you find out your gifts, when God cultivates you and begin to work in you, and you spend more time with him, he begins to show you your gifts. So, in the process of showing you your gifts, you begin to see your purpose and you begin to walk in your purpose. All this as God is cultivating you, changing you, changing your mindset, changing your heart, changing your appearance. Because as he begins to do something new in you, everything changes, right? Everything begins to change your language, the way you walk, the way you talk, the way you look, every single aspect of you begins to change. And now the most important part of it is you, because you can see the change come into fruition, all because he's cultivating you. But the most important part, you have to allow the change to happen. Because sometimes in our lives, we, we decide, we see the change, and we fight the change. Now, what I mean by that? We fight that we begin to listen to other music. We begin to, our spirit begins to not like the music that we've always listened to, to the fact that we still like them, but we don't want to hear them as much. We don't want to hear Lil Wayne all the time. <laughs> we don't want to hear Boosie all the time. We, it Every aspect of our lives begins to change everything. I mean... It's so amazing. It's so awesome. It's so electrifying. <laughs> Seriously. Because you you begin to surrender everything over to God. And you begin to see all of this happening over a period of time. You change what you read. You change what you watch. You Listen more, you attentive, you focus, you drilled in, you're narrowed to the fact of what you want to happen in your life. So when you begin to let all of this come to fruition, you have to let it come to, to, to fruition because God still gives us a choice. It's free will. We can decide, look, I really I ain't, I ain't, I ain't feeling that right now. I man, because it's too many rules, you know, you know how some of us be. Because I was once there, and in some instances, I still have to work on because I'm like, I mean, I'm grown, I can do whatever. No, it doesn't matter your age. It doesn't matter that the fact that you're grown. It doesn't matter that you allow yourself to be in control. Because that's what you you're doing. You're not surrendering. You're still being in control of what you want to be in control of. You would say, I'm going to give God this little bit and let him, you know, he can do what he want with that. But this over here, no, I ain't with it. I ain't with it. And that's where we have the issue. That's where we still have baggage. That's where we still allow our old ways to, to take forth and control us our, and we're not letting the full transition happen 
So as you begin to, and you can't help it. You can't help it. You see, you feel the change. You see the change coming about. <clears throat> if you have discernment, excuse me, if you have discernment, you already see the change happening. Even a few years ago, I saw a change in me coming about, but I fought it. I fought it. I didn't surrender. I didn't give it to God. So I continued to stay in that same mindset, in that same headspace. It's all about surrendering over your will and allowing God's will to take over your life. And all you have to do is real simple. Just ask God, take over my life. Now, you have to be very careful because you're going to have to let go of a lot of things. A lot of things. Not only things, people. Because some people are not going to like the change that's happening in your life. That even though they may see the better happening with the change, they can't no longer, they no longer can manipulate you. So they're not going to like the change. They can't control you anymore so they're not going to be with the change and that's a whole nother topic topic dealing with letting people go because it's hard it's hard to let people go believe me because you're close to them and you you've grown a bond with them so you begin to say hey ah, i'm fighting it's like it's not like it is a spiritual warfare. You're, you're battling um, against your will, uh, battling your will and your flesh to God's will and the things of the spirit. So we're going to keep dealing with this, and we're, we're also still going to be dealing with uh, the power of the tongue, uh, life and death in it. Still, we're going to be dealing with Getting to know ourselves. And to get to know ourselves is some lot of ugly stuff in in us. Me first. It's a lot of things in me that need to be rid of. Once you remove the main thing that you may seem to think is the main thing, it's a lot of other avenues and a lot of other fleshy fleshly things that will grab hold of you even though the enemy will say okay you drop that down you surrender that okay what about this you ain't stop doing this you ain't stop drinking you ain't stop cussing you ain't stop lying you ain't stop doing that but you okay you can have all that but but you got to be careful with that we, us, have to be careful with the fact that we haven't surrendered all. That's why the Word of God said, surrender all. All of it. Lay it down, your life, to do the will of God. We will discuss this more. I'm glad that y'all tuned in. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like this video, comment, subscribe. Please give me your thoughts down below. Let's get it let's go next video tomorrow stay tuned turn on those post notifications peace